Hi, my name is Greg McCalco, Executive Director of CircuitCheck. One of the most overlooked components of the test system is connecting or interfacing to your device under test. You probably have invested a lot into your tester, but if you do not have a reliable fixture or interface test adapter, you will never get stable and repeatable test results. There are pl plenty of commercially available interfaces that go between your tester and the fixture or ITA. Virginia Panel and Mac Panel are just a couple of the suppliers out there. You'll have to pick the appropriate contact blocks depending on the amount of signals, current, and frequency you'll be measuring. You'll now need to spend time with the device you are testing and plan how you're going to access the signals you want to measure. Do you have accessible test points? Are you going to access through a connector on the top, the bottom, or the side of the board? These questions will lead you to either using spring probes or some type of interfacing connector generally mounted to a custom printed circuit board, or both. You will then need to find a platform that can reliably deliver your device to the contacts. This can be something as simple as this for low volume or design validation testing, or a high volume drawer fixture like this that can keep your tester fully utilized. You will need the most current version of the CAD data in order to identify the precise contact locations you want to connect to when laying out your fixture. Most fixture or ITA design is done with 3D modeling programs such as SOLIDWORKS. This is where you'll work through the challenges of how you're going to access your contact points and what types of contacts you're going to choose. Once your fixture is designed, it will most likely require precise drilling and machining in order to deliver the UUT to the contacts reliably. These drilling machines are the same type of machines that your printed circuit boards are manufactured with. They are capable of drilling very small, 10,000 diameter or less holes with positioning accuracy of 1,000th. As each fixture is custom designed for specific application, many of the parts on the fixture will have to be custom machined to tight tolerances. Your tester and or fixture will have to be assembled and wired to the schematics that you develop during the design process. Once you have completed the wiring and assembly process, you will want to validate that it is wired correctly prior to turning the power on, or you just might let the smoke out of it. So thank you for watching this video series that we put together with National Instruments on designing and building a test system. Should you have any questions or if there's any way that we can help you, please reach out to us at circuitcheck.com.